Trunk pitch oscillations for energy trade-offs in bipedal running birds and robots. In this work, we address the passive and unreactivated component of the bipedal locomotion, the trunk, and show how trunk motion can be leveraged to shape the energy distribution. Nature offers various solutions to bipedalism, ranging from the avians and therapods with a pronograde trunk posture to humans with an orthograde trunk posture. Terrestrial birds in particular display exceptional locomotion capabilities where they exploit the interplay between the body segment masses and moment of inertia. An example can be seen in avian running, where the trunk moves downward during the stand phase and upward in remaining times. On the other hand, most leg robots discard trunk movements as a means to enhance their locomotion capabilities. In this paper, we analyze the role of trunk motions in avian running based on a spring-loaded inverted pendulum model. The model consists of a pronograde trunk with a mass M and inertia J, a massless leg with a parallel sprig damper mechanism, and an actuated hip joint. The leg force determines the axial component of the ground reaction force, whereas the tangential component depends on the hip torque. Since the leg is passive, we can only modify the hip torque in this framework. The question is how to define the hip torque in a way that we can obtain different trunk oscillation characteristics. We use a virtual point-based control scheme where the ground reaction forces are assumed to intersect at a single point. By changing the location of the virtual point, we can create trunk pitch oscillations with varying directions and magnitudes. There are two axes which are important in our framework. First is the center of mass to foot axis, which divides the parameter space into two. The virtual points above the center of mass induce upward trunk motion during the stance phase, whereas the points below induce downward trunk motion. The magnitude of the trunk oscillation increases as the virtual point gets further away from the center of mass. The second important axis in our framework is the hip-to-foot axis, which determines the sign of the hip torque. Consequently, the virtual points below the leg axis create yet another parameter region, which we refer as VPBL. The virtual point concept can be viewed as a means to change the orientation of the ground reaction force vector. From this perspective, the virtual points above the center of mass yield more vertically oriented ground reaction force vectors and the virtual points below yield more horizontally oriented force vectors. In our simulations, we select the morphological parameters of our model from the literature to match an ostrich of 80 kg. We identify the initial state, controller gains and damping coefficient of our model such that the resultant gates yield duty factor and peak vertical ground reaction force values that are similar to the ones reported in the biomechanical measurements in the literature. Here we present three example gates, one with a virtual point that is 60 cm above the center of mass, and the other two with virtual points that are 20 and 60 cm below the center of mass. With this framework, we are able to generate downward and upward trunk motions, smooth hip torque profiles, and less skewed ground reaction force profiles that are similar to what is observed in avians. As we increase the forward turning speed from 4 to 10 meters per second, the trunk angular excursion increases up to 2 degrees for the virtual points above the center of mass, and up to 18 degrees for the virtual points below the center of mass. Finally, we assess how our control strategies influence the energetics of the locomotion. In particular, we look at the energy fluctuations of the center of mass and the work performed by the leg and hip. Our results suggest three different strategies to place the virtual point in order to shape the energy distribution. One can use a virtual point above the center of mass to reduce the kinetic energy fluctuations of the center of mass, while a virtual point below reduces the potential energy fluctuations. At the same time, one can reduce the hip and leg work jointly by using a virtual point above at fast speeds of 8 to 10 meters per second and a virtual point below at slow speeds of 4 to 6 meters per second. A virtual point below the leg axis, the VPBL, is useful to reduce the leg work further at slow speeds of 4 to 6 meters per second at the expense of the high peak hip torques. In summary, we derive three potential key strategies to leverage trunk pitch motions that reduce either the energy fluctuations of the center of mass or the work performed by the leg and hip. We show that these strategies are also valid for human-like trunks and could be used in leg robotics.